and welcome to the session. I am Asha and I am going to help you solve the following problem which says fact wise. Let us start with the solution. The first one is 12x square minus 7x plus 1. Now we will factorize this polynomial with the help of splitting the middle term. Now we have to split 12 such that the sum comes out to be 7. Now 12 is 2 6 are 12, 2 3 are 6, thus the factors of 12 are 2, 2 and 3. And this can be written as 4 into 3 and the sum of 4 and 3 is equal to 7. Thus this can further be written as 12 x square minus 7 can be written as 4 plus 3 into x plus 1. So this we have got by splitting the middle term. Now on opening the brackets we have 12x square minus 4x minus 3x plus 1 and now taking 4x common from the first two terms and minus 1 common from the last two terms, we have 4x and in the bracket we have 3x minus 1. Now taking minus 1 common from the next two terms, we have 3x minus 1. Now taking 3x minus 1 common, we have 3x minus 1 into 4x minus 1. And hence, on factorizing the given polynomial, get the factors as 3x minus 1 to 4x minus 1. So this completes the first part. Let us now proceed on to the second part. Which is 2x square plus 7x plus 3. Now this can be written as 2x square plus 7 can be written as 6 plus 1 into x plus 3. Then 7 is equal to 6 plus 1 and 6 into 1 is equal to 2 into 3. Where 2 is the coefficient of x square and 3 is the constant. Now this is further equal to 2x square plus 6x plus x plus 3 and now taking 2x common from the first two terms and 1 common from the last two terms we have 2x into x plus 3 Taking 1 common from the last two terms, we have x plus 3 in the next bracket. Now taking x plus 3 common, we have x plus 3 into 2x plus 1. And thus on factorizing the second part, we get the factors as x plus 3 into 2x plus 1. So this completes the second part. Now proceeding on to the third part. Where we have to factorize 6x square plus 5x minus 6. Here again we have to split the middle term 5 in such a way that the product of these two numbers comes equal to 6 into 6. That is 36. Now, on splitting 36, we have the factors as 2 into 18, 2 into 9, and 3 into 3. So, 36 can be written as 2 into 2 into 3 into 3, or 4 into 9. And, when we subtract 4 from 9, we get the result as 5, 
Thus, this statement can further be written as 6x square plus 9 minus 4 into x minus 6, which is further equal to 6x square plus 9x minus 4x minus 6. And now taking 3x common from the first two terms and minus 2 common from the next two terms, this can further be written as 3x. And what are we left with? The first term is 2x plus and taking 3x outside, what are we left with? 3. Then taking minus 2 common, we have 2x plus 3, the last bracket. Now taking 2x plus 3 common, we have 2x plus 3 into 3x minus 2. And hence on factorizing the third polynomial, we get the factors as 2x plus 3 into 3x minus 2. So this completes the third part. And now proceeding on to the last one, which is 3x square minus x minus 4. Now this is quite simple. 3x square minus 1x minus 4 and we have to split the middle term and 1 can be written as 4 minus 3 into x minus 4 and on opening the brackets we have 3x square minus 4x minus into minus is plus so plus 3x minus 4 now taking x common from the first two terms and 1 common from the last two terms it can further be written as x into 3x minus 4 plus 1 into 3x minus 4 now taking 3x minus 4 common, get 3x minus 4 and here we are left with x and here plus 1. And thus on factorizing the last polynomial, we get the factors as x plus 1, 3x minus 4. So this completes the fourth part and hence the solution. Hope you enjoyed this session. Take care and have a good day.